<laughs> All right. Um, next, on deck, we have another featured spot, Mr. Jim Gallagher. But please make it very loud for the lovely Katie. I've been uh, creeping on this place like uh, when you go to the dog park without a dog. I've been here for two weeks just like creeping on the comics. So shout out to the females who are here who are going to come up tonight. Woo! Yes, females are comedians, not me. Uh, this is my first time, so be kind. <laughs> Thank you, it's a great start. Uh, so a little bit about me. I am single and 31, which really sucks. Uh, dating in your 30s is very different than when you are dating in your 20s. You know, you don't have that fresh meat anymore. You're kind of getting those uh, leftovers. And we're not, we're not talking like like cold pizza leftovers. We're talking like Friday night, $5 sushi at Vons. You know, like how desperate am I? <laughs> Do I want to put that in my mouth? <laughs> The answer is yes. <laughs> uh, you know, my girlfriends, they tell me, you know, Katie, romanticize your life. Do it for the plot. You guys ever hear that? Do it for the plot. You know, that main character energy. And I'm like, you literally have the wrong guy on your baby's birth certificate. <laughs> I don't know that I should be taking advice from you, but that's fine. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> no, but they aren't wrong. I mean, I got dumped. I was pretty sad about it. But you know what they say, the best way to get over somebody is to get under. get under somebody. Good, I'm not the only whore here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what I did. I went out uh, with the goal of meeting a guy. And I did. He was very hot, we're talking. Of course, I'm playing like the good girl role, like, I never do this. Oh, I have morals. Take me on a date first. Did he take me on a date? No. Did I fuck him? Yes. <laughs> Do I remember it? No. <laughs> Which really sucks because it was the first time I got to fuck somebody after my mediocre ex-boyfriend, right? So I'm like, okay, like I need a redo. So the next night I'm like showering. I'm washing like every hole in my body. I'm shaving my booty hole. Have you ever done that? It's literally, it's a fucking weird thing. You're like, it's like this, right? I'm going all out for this man. So I meet up with him. And we just get like straight to it. We're making out, clothes are coming off, and he goes down on me. Like, okay, okay. Look, I know they say it's eating somebody out, but it does not mean physically eat me. And that's what this man was doing. I don't know what the hungry, hungry hippo this man thought he was doing, but it ain't it. The treasure you are looking for is not in the back of my friend. It is right in the front, right in the front. And so I realized the first time we hooked up, I did not black out. It was actually my body protecting me <laughs> from the night before. <laughs> but here I am. Did you guys ever put a salt on a slug growing up? Oh, no. I just like shriveled up and died. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to describe my vagina that night. <laughs> anyway, they say, you know, romanticize your life. So uh, I'm still looking for my happy ending. And uh, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much. Yeah.